few videos ago when we were talking about switches, we introduced a little uh, electrical component called a relay here, which we described as an electrically controlled switch. And in particular, the way the relay works is that this middle lead here on the end and this one here sort of represent a switch with a typical gap that can be open and closed. And these two outer ones here are represent a coil that when energized will close the switch. So what I'm going to do is that we've been using this little LED circuit for several videos now and just to have a little fun. Still have the protection resistor in here and have a red LED sort of connected with this big gap in here. This is exactly where I want to put the relay. So I'm going to be careful now to make sure that this middle lead here of the relay is the one that's going to connect to the output of the resistor. So I'll stick it in this column here and the other side of the switch is the one that will connect to the input side of this LED down here. So let's see if I can just get that uh, stuck in here properly. Uh, there we go. There we go, yeah, not too bad. So see, uh, you sort of see how the breadboard starts to be built up, but it just happily accepts a variety of components. All of these things are made to fit in the holes, and you can sort of put things together, almost like a electric electronics version of Legos, if you will, because you can just snap things together and arrange them and very quickly change things. So what I have now is, of course, the battery going through the protection resistor and the switch right here inside the relay, which is closed, and here's an LED, and this wire goes around to the complete circuit. So it's off course because the switch is open. But as I demonstrated in a few videos ago, the relay has this ability to be turned on with an external magnet. So what I'm going to hypothesize here is that if I can turn this, get this magnet to close the relay, the LED should light. So here I come, I'm approaching the, LED, the, the relay, approaching the relay, and look at that, the LED, LED comes on, I'm not even touching it, I'm about a half a centimeter away. And I can hear the little LED turning on, the, excuse me, the relay turning on in there. So I really have created a magnetically controlled switch right here using one of these so-called reed relays inside there. They're very cheap, they're about 25 cents each, and they're a lot of fun to play around with. So we've just sort of created a magnetically controlled switch. It doesn't matter if you come in with the north or the south pole, either way that magnetic field will close that switch inside. So I have a nice magnetically controlled switch.